things that you need to know about throwing. What we're doing every time we throw, we want to make sure that we bring our arm way back, we step with our opposite foot, and we follow through, okay? Key thing is stepping with the opposite foot. One of the things that we all notice across the district is that a lot of kids step with the same foot when they throw. So remember, arm way back, step with the opposite foot, follow through and throw. Miss Bennett here. I'm going to show you some different ways to make a ball with stuff around your house. Okay, if you have a ball, that's great. You can use that. If you have a dog, like my Virgil here, maybe he'll let you borrow his ball. Or you can take a piece of paper or newspaper, crumple it up. Okay, take some tape, wrap it around it. There you go. Here's a ball. Take some tin foil. Again, just crumble it up. Okay, you have another ball. Another different way you can use if you take a t-shirt. Okay, stretch it out, wrap it around. Put a knot in the middle, just tie it. Okay, if you have a longer t-shirt, you might want to do it twice. There you go, another ball. Okay, you can also do it with a dish towel or a hand towel. Okay, same thing, wrap it around, take the two ends, make a knot, there you go, another ball. You can also do it with a big, large bath towel, if that's all you have. Okay, you want to wrap it around, okay, take the two ends, put that knot in, Okay, if you need help from an adult, ask them for help. And tie it through. There you go, now you have a big ball. Another thing you can use, a pair of socks. Take the two socks, ball it up. There you go, another ball. You can also take a winter hat. Take the t-shirt that you used before to make your ball. Stuff it in there and use a hair tie and tie it around the bottom and there you go there's another ball okay use whatever you can around your house to make your ball and use it for our upcoming lessons great job bye friends goodbye Rouge.